<laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back to another great, grand episode of Hollow Knight. We're gonna do a uh, Would You Rather episode, and I really enjoyed this part, this warning thing. Um, we encourage you to report questions that you can consider inappropriate or bad spelled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey guys, I got I got a report that you might be interested in. <laughs> this What's is that? happening since questions are sent in by other players. <laughs> All right, cool, thank you. I understand. So let's um, yeah, uh, no, that's a that's a dumb one. Uh, let's just skip that one. More people prefer a digital watch than an analog watch, of course. <laughs> just look at it and see the freaking hands, you freaking pr you prudes. <laughs> Wait, they prefer analog. <laughs> all right, Steven, would you rather walk always on all four legs or make or always have to make animal noises? <laughs> Uh, fuck. I mean, I feel like if you just walk on all four legs, basically, uh, you just need to develop a humiliation fetish. I, well, and, like, you can be put on a leash, right? If you, both of them just fuck up job opportunities for you. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, basically your whole life's fucked either way. Uh, but... It's not going good. Yeah, I'll like, be honest, that then if... If we all always make animal sounds, you know, we can't we can't rely on this Let's Play career to take off, Steven. Oh, like, people could, like, have a weird king for it. Like, just want to hear, like, a dog play a game. Do, <laughs> we know, we got... Do we get accused what animal we are? Because we could be, like, a dinosaur, and that'd be kind of rad. <laughs> just, I mean, just like a pterodactyl that's yeah. you're flying across the sky. I have a feeling that that uh, gimmick would get uh, old a little rather quickly, yeah, would you say? Yeah, Patrick, you're talking to me. I, I can... Fucking love a joke to the fucking ground. Yeah, I know. That's as evidenced by us making Harambe jokes for like two years after that people stopped. Well, not two years. That he has been like that. You are totally evil. Is he? Okay. How, How did, did you, you get, get here? here? <laughs> All right. Well. How are you in the beast den? <laughs> so yeah, if if we always I, have to walk, I on... I feel like um, Gisford being a piece of delivery driver, like. Doing all on all fours is I get more tips. I mean, I feel like if we have to walk on all fours, we could just like get assistance from the government, and that way we'll have a steady income, so we can get our streaming and YouTube careers off the ground. <laughs> then, as soon as that becomes our primary source of funding, we don't gotta worry about walking ever again. Right? I mean, walking's neat at times. Yeah, uh, occasionally, me, me. but you know, if we just give it up, I, I won't be that sad about it. Oh, okay. So I, I think I'd sooner walk on all fours just so we can still produce all of this amazing content that we do on a daily basis, Steven. I, stop lying to the people. Come on, come on, come on. What? Come, come on, you <laughs> Thank you. That's a trick. Anyways, I'm going with all fours. Yeah, I'll go with all fours with you. All right, uh, wow, 33% agree with us. Uh, go fuck yourself, people. They don't understand the economic benefits. All right, uh, I don't care about superpower questions, invisible or read minds. I go invisible. Uh, uh, yeah, probably, I guess. Are you always <laughs> invisible? <laughs> or that, that's one yeah, person. No, that's, oh, that's a good one. Would you rather always be invisible or always have to read people's minds? Because so, now it's a bad thing. Yeah, I was going to say, both of them have been things I've seen done before. Uh, what do you mean? I've seen always invisible. That one's just in Hiroyaka. Or no, Green Naruto. Okay. That's just one person's power. They're just always invisible and they're shit tier. I kind of figured, I kind of... I, I, I would always be invisible because, again, just don't have face cam on our videos. I'm yeah. banking real hard on this career taking off, Steve. But well, you could be able to hear, hear me if you get the other one. And probably other people within, like, a certain radius. Yeah, if you I could never stop reading minds, could I just, like, wear an aluminum foil hat or something like that? I know <laughs> in one show, one guy had that power, so his only way to, like, counter it was to put headphones on that were really loud so he couldn't hear people. Wasn't that, like, Psycho Mantis's thing in Metal Gear Solid? You could hear him. Oh yeah, here's the uh, guy. But like, he had he had that like gas mask looking thing on, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was because he was a burn victim. Uh, I thought I thought it was also because like he couldn't stop hearing minds. Mm, I think he could read minds. I don't. I think I don't know if he could control her or not. I yeah. I, I want to say he couldn't because uh, here, at the, at here's the, the first one. Okay, you know, never mind. <laughs> All right, hello. Bound for brood for child. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did you win? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'll be honest, first time I did this, I was really fucking scared, and he just... Hold me to focus, Steven. Oh, yeah, Steven. yeah, I got, I got steal his soul. <laughs> I like how you're putting the shield up. <laughs> <laughs> you always gotta wear protection for your first time. <laughs> <laughs> is this what sex is? Oh, my, oh, God, what's happening here? <laughs> We've ascended or some shit, I don't know. 
Yeah, I, I killed one of three already. I don't know how to get to the other two, I'll be honest. Yeah, <laughs> alright, cool. Alright, next one. Oh wow, this is extreme. I think this might be extremely easy for both of us. Okay. But, uh, one sec, we'll wait till this, uh, cool little cutscene ends. Yeah. This game's cool, Steve. Yeah. I like this game. Just, just wait. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man, well, that was an acid trip. <laughs> All right, Steve, would you rather live without listening to music anymore or lose a finger? Uh, fuck, without music, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I mean, do you get accused the finger? I don't know, but, like, I would I would very easily just say, yeah, lose the finger. Oh, okay. Like, I, I love music, and you don't care about music, so it just seems like, like a really easy... music. See, what? I like anime music. <laughs> not Wait, enough... Wait, am I allowed to listen to anime if they have music at all? Very true, yes. Wait, oh, yeah, that that depends. Like, is it you're physically, like, you can't hear music? Or if you do listen to music, you, like, get arrested? <laughs> it's like that age-old, like, can't touch this question. It's like, are you just not allowed to touch this? Or are you physically unable to touch this, MC Hammer? <laughs> or, 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 like, we're Don't looking... bring MC Hammer to this debate. It, it, he, it was his song. He brought himself into this debate, Steven. In all future debates. MC Escher brought himself in. MC Escher did not write. <laughs> Can't touch this, Steven. I know. MC Hammer, my bad. <laughs> I, I sometimes forget artists' names. Although that would be an amazing crossover. MC Hammer and MC Escher. <laughs> Isn't the MC Escher dead or is he still going? I mean, no, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Who is he? He is an artist. Okay, that. Dang. I believe he made those paintings with the weird staircases. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he, he's totally dead. <laughs> sorry, uh, everyone, for spoiling it. Yeah, sorry, spoilers on that one. All right, so we disagreed. Oh, 69% agreed with me. Yeah. To, to lose the finger. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What the fuck? Have a normal life to do whatever you want, or live eternity without being able to do whatever you want. <laughs> Live a normal life. Yeah, live a normal life. What the fuck? It's like, yes, I could live forever, but I have to be a shoe salesman. <laughs> so, you know, that's... That, wouldn't, that wouldn't be that bad. I know, but, the, like, the point is you don't get to choose what you're doing. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm barely ever going to choose anything. <laughs> you think you think I picked this game? Patrick picked this one for me. Yeah, you think I want to live forever? Oh, no, 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 not fighting you. Yeah. You think I want to live forever? Are you kidding me? I barely want to live right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, who the fuck? Things living's cool. Who the fuck wants to live? That's stupid. Live a normal life. 84%. Yeah, that, that was a dumb one. Yeah. Steven, <laughs> skirt or pants? For me to wear or? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, skirt or pants. Okay, well, I'd wear the pants and I'd want my women wearing pants. Oh, really? You're, you're more of a fan of uh, girls in pants? Yeah. And girls I, in skirts? I, I don't like skirts. Oh. Why? I watch a lot of anime and you see it a lot. That's not, you can't just judge it off of like the creepy like Japanese perverts of that yeah, I shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, I guess you can. It's your no, life to live, but. It's, a, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's, your more, it's just to me, A, better looking, and B, like, you, <laughs> get, you get rid of the fucking, you know, creepy aspect, which some people can do. <laughs> I mean, if, if, I it's like, think... if it's like goes all the way down, like, okay, yeah, maybe I have a bit more of an opinion, but I'm going for like down to like the knees at best for skirts, in my opinion. Is how you classify it? I don't know. What's the, what's the cutoff between a skirt and a miniskirt? Uh, probably, like... Knees? I feel like it's a little higher than Maybe. That. One sec. One sec. I'll look this up. Welcome welcome to a women's clothing episode of Rambling Gamers. That you've, you've all been demanding it for so long, and you know what? We finally caved and did it. Aww. Okay. Um, difference between... Uh, cold and the fluid, the iPhone 8 and the X? Nah, a difference between skirt and mini skirts. How's, it, how, uh, how's this going here, Steve? I, I don't know where the fuck I I was going to say, you seem to be going around in circles. Wait, this is the exit, right? A hemline well above the knees, generally okay. at mid-thigh level. Normally no longer than 10 centimeters or 4 inches below the buttocks. By the way, Pat, all these people are dead now. What? Oh, no, what happened to them? I don't fucking know, honestly. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so I did the thing here. So I'm just going to leave. So, yeah, uh, okay. Is a dress a skirt? Ooh, what a... Now, that's that's a good debate right there. Is a dress a skirt? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking of also. What, like... What's the cutoff for there, then? Attach the... The boat is. Oh my god! There's so there's so many there's so many definitions I don't know of, and I'm already. I feel, I feel like a skirt isn't like a dress. 
go by. Oh my god, you're just not stopping here, huh? Ooh. There's a bottom? Nice nice little splash there, Steve. I, I never fell down. Oh, okay. Well, what's going on down here, then? Oh, let's, okay. let's make our hey, way I feel through. Like, I feel like the skirt has to be, like, separate from the shirt. That's just kind of me. Okay. Oh. I don't know. I have no idea what this oh, yeah, debate I, is. I go, I go pants. Okay. 78% agree with you. Would you rather direct the Lord of the Rings or direct Harry Potter? Lord of uh, the Rings. I don't know. Which series would I want to mess up more? Because I'll say one thing. I can't direct movies. <laughs> if I tried to direct a movie, then that movie is going to absolutely fail in the box office. So basically, you're condemning Lord of the Rings to death over Harry Potter, Steve? I mean, I just want to say the blood scenes. What? There's, there's blood scenes in that one. Harry Potter, there isn't as much. Yeah. So also, it, you only have to go through three movies. That is true. It's a lot less work to direct Lord of the Rings than it yeah, is Yeah, they go through eight Potter. movies and now a ninth. So, you know. I mean, like, they're adding, um... The Hobbits. Yeah, doing Hobbits, too, then. Okay. I guess I can say those also. Yep. Oh, hello oh, there! Oh, hello, dude, from that one anime I always see online. Spirited Away. Okay. It's a really good one. As you could probably guess, because I like it. Uh, yeah, it, I could guess, because literally I've heard nothing but the highest praises imaginable for yeah, that. Yeah, it was seen as, like, the greatest anime movie until your name came out. Oh, wait, did, is your name considered better? Your name and another one called A Silent Voice. Like, A Silent Voice and your name came out in the same year, and I was just like, yeah, these two are just, like, really fucking good and made me cry. Nice. Which, Would A Silent you... Voice is also really fucking good. Okay. If you like, uh, your name. Yeah, alright, I'll, I'll consider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo Movies are easier than full animes to watch. <laughs> it's two hours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, so... This is a this is a weird one. Would you rather have unlimited love or unlimited money? Love. Wait. What, 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 what does what? that mean? Does that just mean everyone loves you? Um, yeah, I'm gonna say unlimited money because I don't need unlimited love. I just need to find like one person to love me. But like, what do they just give you money? What does it mean to um, <laughs> What does it mean to only have well, limited? Is it just a sugar daddy? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's like that's that's having unlimited money. No, un no unlimited uh love. But he's no. Got, he's got many sugar daddies. I mean, may maybe that's both. Maybe that's both of these. Maybe it's just like, yeah, do you, can I be your sugar daddy and there's just the job vacation? <laughs> what the fuck am I? But yeah, what does it mean to have limited love? I understand limited money. You know, I can see that in a bank account. I don't know. It's just around like you're loved by everyone. I mean, but like, I don't give a shit about being loved by everyone. Wow. It's a fucking asshole over here. Right, yeah. I was just like... My god, I don't care whether uh, Osama Bin Laden loves me from beyond the grave. I think I would rather have unlimited $20 bills in my pocket than have Kim Jong-un give me a, blow me a kiss. Oh, yeah, you would love if he blew you a kiss. I would, but I'd rather have unlimited money is what I'm getting at here. This is a would you rather. Yeah, I, I, I got for money too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, 61% agree with us. Because, you know, you don't even get the pick, like, everyone just loves you, and then, you know, you eventually get the psychotic people... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, then you end up getting, like, you, you get, like, a Mark David Chapman who ends up, like, blowing your brains out because they love you so much. I don't think that's why he killed John he Lennon. He killed them because they said they were Jesus. They were more popular than Jesus. I don't think that's why. I think it was just, you know, I, that's a good question. Did, did they ever... I actually don't know if I've ever looked that up. Why did Mark David Chapman kill Jesus? Plan to murder John Lennon, murder of John Lennon. Lennon assassin Mark David Chapman says he did it to get attention. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Yeah, let me see this uh, here. The man who shot John Lennon to death outside his New York City apartment building on a chilly December night in 1980 told the parole board that no one could have stopped him from killing the former Beatle, according to the interview, blah, 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 blah. Denied parole for the seventh time as of 1980. Oh, and the seventh time. And this was back in 2012. <laughs> So, okay, so he's in his early 60s. Wow, I thought he might have been older than that. I know he had a job as a camp counselor before he did the thing that made him so he couldn't go back to work. Wait, what? He was a, he was a camp counselor at some uh, Christian camp. Really? Yeah. Huh. The people really loved him. They thought he was a really good counselor, and they were like, what the fuck? The parole board said that despite Chapman's remorse for the act, his good behavior while behind bars, letters of recommendations, his release would trivialize the murder. Eh. Okay, fair enough. Okay, is there anything good? Why'd you target this victim? The parole board asked because he was very famous. And what'd you want to get out? And what'd you want to get out of it? Attention. Bottom line, Chapman said. Okay, I guess I read something. I guess I read something about how like 
he kept thinking about it at night, of how, like, he thought he was better than Jesus or something like that. I know, I know he read Catcher in the Rye, and, like, he was holding that book while he, uh... Shot him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't need Shergo here. He did actually shoot him. There were witnesses. This isn't like Lee Harvey Oswald, but there's a little doubt. Some members of Chapman's prayer group made a joke in reference to Lennon's song Imagine. It went, Imagine. Imagine if John Lennon was dead. What the fuck? Yeah. Chapman's childhood friend Miles referred to the song as communist. Uh, Chapman's best friend reported it. Jan Reeves, the sister of one of Chapman's best friends, reported Chapman seemed really angry towards John Lennon, and he kept saying that he could not understand why John Lennon had said the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. Yeah, that... According to Mark, there should be nobody more popular than the Lord Jesus Christ. He said that it was blasphemy. That, I mean, but like he said to the parole board, he just wanted attention. Uh, I don't think it was the best stable mind person. Uh, yeah, I think, I think that would be right. Oh, that one sucks. Uh... He was angry that Lennon would preach love and peace, but yet have millions of dollars. He, he just fucking made it, dude. Chapman later said he told us to imagine no possessions, and yet there he was with millions of dollars in yachts and farms and country estates, laughing at people like me who had believed the lies and bought the records and built a big part of their lives around his music. Chapman said he chose Lennon after seeing him on the cover of Sgt. Pepper. He also recalled having listened to the, Len the John Lennon slash Plastic Ono Band album in the weeks before the murder and stated, I would listen to this music and I would get angry at him for saying that he didn't believe in God and that he didn't and that he didn't believe in the Beatles. What? Wait. He, he didn't believe He didn't believe in God and that he didn't believe in the Beatles. How do you not believe in them? I don't you know. I've never listened to the band. I've never listened to <laughs> Yeah, he didn't believe that the insect existed. It was, it was crazy. I never listened to the Plastic Ono Band, so maybe that was just something um, that, hap that happened. Though this record had been done at least ten years. Oh yeah, uh, everyone. Uh, I may have done a little fucky wucky here. What happened? <laughs> oh no. This is something that kind of happens because I killed the one guy. Oh no, it's. Oh wow, that was a lot farther than I thought. Fuck Who does he think he is saying these things about God and heaven and the Beatles? Saying that he doesn't believe in Jesus and things like that. At that point, my mind was going through a total blackness of anger and rage. So I brought the Lennon book home into this catcher in the rye malayu where my mindset is Holden Caulfield and anti-phoniness. So that's, wait. So he read about Holden Caulfield wanting to protect people from the dangers of, like, growing up. And he took that as, let's kill John Lennon? Yeah. Okay, the dude's a fucking idiot. We're a few minutes over already, so it's it's a good time to end the episode, right, Steve? Or do you want to get somewhere? Yeah, well, we can end it here. All uh, right, everyone. Uh, well, thank you all so much for watching. We'll pick this back up in the next episode. Uh, if you liked it, we appreciate the likes, the comments, and the subscribe. Steven, uh, what do you want to do to play us out? I want to go see what's in this room before I... Oh, no. Oh, we got walking crystallites down there. Goodbye. <laughs>